Hello my beautiful chameleons and welcome to the first new releases and sneak peeks of 2023. I'm super excited. New year, new start. I didn't film this look. I did use the Colourpop Fade Into Hue palette. This one. Um, I've been going through my palettes, getting ready to do the collection and declutter. Couldn't really remember what I thought of a few palettes, so I'm having a play. So let's move you over to the side or move me over to the side um something like that and the first thing i have to talk about is from wet and wild and they have revealed yes launching on the 15th of january their valentine's collection so it's got an eye palette blushes liquid highlight, lip care products, luminous spray, lip glosses, two-in-one makeup sponge and hair clips. Um, these look super cute. Super cute. I shall definitely be keeping my eye out. I don't know if there's anything I'm going to be trying. I'm interested in the blushes, I think. And maybe the liquid highlight. I don't know. Hmm. Um, but yes, these, it looks like a really beautiful Valentine's collection. So I wanted to mention it. Moving on, Charlotte Tilbury has released um, new Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighters. No, sorry, Hollywood Glow Glide Face Ar Architect Highlighters. That is a huge name for a highlighter. Um, but there are six shades available, I believe. I'll just double check that. Yep. And they range from light to, to dark. So covering everyone I believe let me know what you think and um, they retail for 48 US dollars each a little on the steep side for me personally um but yeah I I like Charlotte Tilbury's products so yeah let me know what you guys think and then what do we have next okay so makeup forever or is it hourglass Makeup Forever and Hourglass? Is this two? I'm really confused. Hmm. Yep, there's there's two on here. Okay. Well that that was confusing. So Makeup Forever have their Rouge Artist Velvet Nude Soft Matte Lipstick. They retail for 25 US dollars each. There are seven matte shades for every skin tone and undertone with moisture boosting, hyaluronic acid, 10 hour wear. Um, they look beautiful. I love the components that are in. So the picture you're seeing, they are the ones on the left. Um, and then, oh, and they're at the top in the other picture. Oh, crikey. So the, the thinner, more overly shaped ones, they are from Makeup Forever. And then the ones in the gold component um, are from Hourglass. It says Unlocked Satin Cream Lipstick, Ultra Hydrating Lipstick with a Satin Cream Finish, Buildable Full Coverage, has a sleek gold metallic, metallic? No, has a sleek gold magnetic case infused with mango seed butter, avocado oil and argan oil. The formula conditions for soft, smooth lips, comfortable wear, weightless formula, 5% of profits from Unlocked support the Non-Human Rights Project. Um, it's 13 shades coming soon. Um, I love the look of the components, well, for both of them, really. But in particular, the Makeup Forever ones. They're super cute. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I do love a nice nude lip, as you can probably tell today. Um, so, now... Generally, this is not a colour story that I would be interested... Well, say generally, it's not really a colour story that I am particularly interested in. However, I just think this looks super cute. So this is new from Tarte. It's a Sweet Tarte Cravings eyeshadow palette. Um, there's nine everyday neutral warm taupe and bronze shades in matte and shimmer finishes. Retailing for $32. US it just looks so cute. I love the packaging and I love how <laughs> I love how the shadows look like sweets. I love the look of it. Um not something I'm gonna be picking up because I wouldn't really use the shades, but I love the look of it. So yeah, let me know what you think. And I'm gonna move on. 
to elf uh because elf have re have they released them yes it looks like it they have released camo color correctors um long wear hydrating crease resistant comes in a range of complementary shades to address all skin discoloration concerns from dullness to red tones blemishes dark spots and under eye circles full coverage with a satin finish infused with hyaluronic acid and um, retail for four us dollars each so you've got the yellow peach orange green and blue um i don't know if these have come to the uk yet and um, this is definitely something that i am interested in i do love elf's face products so yeah super interested in that and nice to see well a nice range of color correctors I don't know what more can you say about color correctors um so yes i wanted to give that a mention next up is something that i am super super interested in so urban decay have have they it's available now yes i should think to look at this before i start speaking um but they have released their new the quickie 24 hour multi-use hydrating full coverage concealer another long name um it's a multi-use one swipe full coverage concealer for on the go that gives you a natural like natural skin like finish for up to 24 hours helps to minimize the look of dark eye circles acne blemishes hyperpigmentation discoloration and redness a waterproof and lightweight formula with a matte finish has a dofa applicator for target targeting and precision and a buffing brush for 33 us dollars there are 24 shades to choose from um yeah i love the look of this i'm always on the hunt for a great concealer and yeah this sounds like something that i may be interested in um i haven't seen these in the uk as yet but we'll see we'll see okay so next up is a sneak peek from wicked sisters cosmetics so they have their i shall love again eyeshadow palette collection launching soon um it does say to sign up to their website for notifications yeah i'm super excited to see what this looks like this is obviously their valentine's release yeah i love the look of the packaging i love the look of that and then cursed cosmetics this is a brand that i love um they have they released these no okay so arriving on the 13th of january will be their multi-chrome liquid eyeshadows there are one two three four shades it says foil finish transfer proof long wear non-flaky formula each spell casting bottle shifts to three different chrome shades for a magical shimmery look all four shades are absolutely stunning absolutely stunning i am super interested in these it doesn't say anything about being limited edition which makes me happy because yeah yeah i do i love the look of these and i'm getting more and more into liquid eyeshadows ma mainly to use as eyeliner but these look absolutely stunning so yeah, let me know if that's something you're excited about or if you're going to be picking up. Right, okay, so next up is, I do have to apologise because the last time I spoke about this brand on new releases and sneak peeks, I said the name wrong. I, I think I called them Sand Bee Beauty, but having checked myself, um, it's S&B Beauty. So I apologise, but they have or they are releasing their follow your heart's desire and i have four shades here so let's see the first shade is pink champagne that looks absolutely stunning i love the heart shaped pans and then we have what are you called love potion which is the pinky one that looks absolutely gorgeous and sweetness which is another another pinky more purpley pink one and 
the fourth one I have here is Seduction, which is more of a, a deeper pinky tone. These look beautiful. So this collection will launch on February the 1st. You can use code PRIDE to get a discount at checkout. I love the look of these, especially the heart-shaped pans. I'm a sucker for gimmicky stuff like that. But yes, S&B Beauty is a brand on my list of brands that I need to try in 2023. So fingers crossed, it's a brand you'll see coming to my channel. Um, and then next up is another sneak peek. This is from MBA Cosmetics. I recently tried MBA Cosmetics and was absolutely blown away by their is it duochromes. They're absolutely stunning. I've got the Cult of Luna and the Chilling with My Nomies. Those two palettes, love them. And this look, we can only see four shades so far, but this is they're my kind of shades. They are my kind of shades. It's called Cosmic Bubbles. Um, I love the outer packaging. It is so aesthetically pleasing. It makes me happy. Even down to the font on there. I love the look of it. Absolutely stunning. This is definitely on my radar. It does say more details soon. I'm super excited to see all of the shades from this palette. But yeah, this is a brand that recently tried and yeah, head over heels in love with. I do have one of their liquid lipsticks as well, which was a free gift with purchase. And the formula is amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Didn't feel like I was wearing anything. If you can hear tapping around and crunching, um, Jace, my dog, is eating a carrot, wandering around. Yeah, that's what that is. Um, so yes, that was MBA Cosmetics. Um, and I did want to mention this next one. So this is from Necromancy Cosmetica and they have their upcoming palette Swamp of Sorrows. Um, it's available for pre-order only on their website. Um, I love the idea of the design of this. Um, you've got eight shades and it looks like it kind of folds up to look like a book kind of or concertina. Um, but yeah, this is a brand that I love the aesthetic of. I haven't tried anything from them as yet, but they're definitely a brand on my radar. But yes, let me know what you think of this. I do love the colour selection, especially the four on the left, the kind of green and grungy side. I like that. That That's me. Um, but yes, on my radar. And I'm talking about Colourpop Cosmetics. See, Colourpop bring out so many releases it's difficult to keep up i say difficult it's impossible to keep up unless you spend your whole life reading everything they put out but anyways i did see this collection and it caught my eye so this is we are the winks and it's super cute um come join the club so the 5th of january what's the date today fourth third fourth okay so they released today as you're watching this the 5th of january um on ColourPop's website and at ultra beauty stores on the 8th of january so there is the just like magic's 15 pan palette ultra glossy lip light sticks lit glitterly obsessed body glitter gel individual crystal wow individual crystal face jewels which are exclusive to the Colourpop website i love the look of this the eyeshadow palette in particular is stunning it's pretty obvious why it caught my eye it's green pink purple i love those shades um yeah this is this is a collection that yeah i have my eye on this so we'll see we'll see if Colourpop do a free international shipping thing when they do that then i will jump on board and pick this up um but yeah i do i love the look of the collection so the next thing i have to talk about i am super super excited super excited for so 
Um, Mandy, who was the owner of Rose Company Cosmetics, which unfortunately closed down, um, she is just lovely, wonderful. Um, and I'm super excited to see that she is rebranding. And this is Mandy Makeup. I'm so excited. So excited. Um, so I don't know when... I don't know when she's launching new stuff, but it says coming soon. I am so, so here for this. I'm so excited. So excited. I cannot wait. Mandy is such a beautiful person. And I have been waiting for what feels like forever for her to rebrand or start up something new. And here it comes. So, yes, I definitely have my eye out for, for the new brand, Mandy Makeup. And then moving on to... So Saints, Angels, Sinners have this new Air Baby Duochrome palette. Oh, this is super cute. I love the look of this. I've also recently tried Saints, Angels, Sinners for the first time. Um, I was very fortunate to receive two palettes in PR and I'm in love with them. This looks absolutely stunning. I love the little bunny on the front. I Little bunny with wings, super cute. Yeah. This palette looks absolutely gorgeous. They're all duochromes and yeah, I I have to say the duochromes I've tried from the palettes that I have are just stunning, absolutely stunning. So yeah, I did want to give this a mention because this is absolutely gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think. Next up is an update from Kylove Beauty and they are going to be closing closing the brand um which is really sad because i still haven't tried anything from them as yet i believe they were called muse beauty before correct me if i'm wrong um but yes they they've had to make the decision to close um yeah with full-time jobs and it's too much so yeah sad to see another indie brand closing down but good luck to them in their future whatever it is they're doing um so yes i did want to give you that update for any of you that are interested so this next release in particular the highlighter um i'm interested in um so this is natasha denona has released or revealed available now um i'm a little bit late on this one by the looks of it it was available on December the 26th. But I did want to mention it because I do love the look of this. So the Mini Pastel Eyeshadow Palette retails for $27. US. Um, it says inspired by the coveted midi-sized pastel palette. There's five new shades and different finishes. So you've got a dual bright duochrome mint with a pink and gold shift. Um, two icy metallics in baby pink and sky blue, a vivid aqua green matte and a sparkling metallic muted cobalt. Um, and then there is the pastel plexi glow highlighter that retails for 42 US dollars. So expensive. Um, it's a translucent alabaster based enveloped, enveloped, enveloped in a wash of shimmering pink golden champagne and icy mint gel powder formula the highlighter looks absolutely stunning absolutely stunning um the swatches of the eyeshadow palette look beautiful i do love the look of it the natasha denona eyeshadow formula whilst it isn't my favorite it is a very nice formula but it's the highlighter that i'm actually interested in so i will definitely be keeping my eye out for if this goes on sale anywhere. Juvia's Place have released new foundations. So there is the Natural Radiance Foundation retailing for 23 US dollars, which is an easy glide foundation, very flawlessly radiant and luminous complexion, lightweight, long wear, water resistant formula, minimize imperfections, smooth, protect and hydrate the skin, enriched with Acarola cherries, rich in vitamin A and C, natural radiant finish, medium coverage, 33 shades. I love the look of this. Also, there is the I Am Magic Powder Foundation, re retailing for 18 US dollars. 
that is an easy glide foundation for a flawlessly radiant and luminous complexion. Lightweight, long wear, I feel like I'm repeating myself. I am. But it has also got carotenoids in. Carotenoids? I don't know what they are. But yes, that comes in 20 shades. Um, there's also a uniquely shaped makeup sponge. Where is this? Ah, okay. I will put pictures up actually because it is a unique shape this makeup sponge. Um, I kind of like the look of it though. And I love that they're bright colours. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm actually more intrigued by the sponge than I am the foundations. Um, I figure. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And moving on to, so NARS have their new Soft Matte Advanced perfecting powder um it's a multi-purpose skin perfecting powder that blurs imperfections smooths the look of skin controls shine and sets makeup for up to 24 hours medium coverage with a matte finish and that retails for 36 us dollars will be available january the 13th okay now i have recently tried the nars soft matte foundation I really enjoyed it so definitely interested to see what others think of this I'm pretty sure that Steph of Steph's Beauty Stash she tends to get all the new foundations so I'm keeping my eye on her channel um yeah I am interested definitely okay so we're coming into the first of the uh, Lunar New Year products um collections and this one is from Charlotte Tilbury and i love i love the packaging on these products absolutely stunning so there are it says include some favorite products in a lucky new year plum blossom print um is limited edition so there is the matte revolution in blossom red orange red lipstick um in blossom red it's an orange red lipstick i don't know why this is so difficult for me today um but apparently it is um that retails for 37 us dollars there's the airbrush flawless finish finishing powder in four shades uh retailing for 46 us dollars airbrush flawless setting spray for 36 us dollars and the magic cream for 100 us dollars um so yeah the general products that are from their current line but in this beautiful packaging which i have to say i think looks absolutely stunning i love the look of this it's a bit sad that they're not new products but yeah i like the look of them anyway let me know what you think and another new foundation you may have noticed you may not have noticed um but I am super into trying new foundations at the moment. I don't know what's gone into me. I am blaming Nicole, one of my beautiful chameleons. <laughs> one of my sister chameleons. It's her fault. I'm sure of it. Um, but yeah, I'm so into trying new foundations. And Laura Mercier have their new Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. It's coming soon. I don't have any more information love the look of the the components i think they look really kind of classy i like the look of them um but yeah just a sneak peek at the moment from there and then kosas have new baked blushes blush is life i love the look of this it says a clean silky smooth powder blush baked with skincare actives in dimensional colour duos, moisturises and balances, squalene, plumps, hyaluronic acid, smooths passion fruit leaf extract, and the shade in this picture is hype. Um, so it says coming soon. Yeah, I love the look of this. I do love the look of the blush in the picture. 
yeah like orange and red together it looks stunning um but yes i've never tried anything from kosas if you have let me know what you think of their products and then so beauty bay are relaunching their skincare line and they're focusing on ingredients performance of the products introducing new products new names educational content on the packaging and more so this launch includes the new five percent squalene and grapeseed oil serum hybrid uh, for 10 pounds that's british pounds or 12 us dollars it says boost hydration for a dewy and radiant finish olive squalene kakadu oil and grapeseed oil i apologize if i'm not pronouncing these correctly i'm more than likely not but yeah um so yeah i like the sound of that um new multi-mask brush with a jewel ended silicone spatula and soft brush design um chamomile and oat lipid cleansing balm um i use this it says known as buttercup cleansing balm um retails for 10 british pounds or 12 us dollars this stuff well i don't know if they've changed the formula of it but the one i have i absolutely adore it basically you just rub it over your face and it melts all of the makeup and then you use the, the cloth that comes with it with some warm water and wipe it off it's it's that easy and i wear a lot of really colorful makeup heavy colorful makeup um and yeah it works a treat but anyways i've kind of i digress um then we have prebiotic and avocado oil cleansing gel um rebalance and refresh the skin slight amend to the formulation ah so maybe there isn't a change to the formulation of the cleansing balm hmm uh, this one doesn't appear to have a price next to it either. Okay, so there is also Collodial Oatmeal and Oat Lipid Rich Moisturiser, which retails for nine British pounds or 10 US dollars, known as Thirst Class Rich Moisturiser Hydrate and Replenish Skin. Um, then there is Hydra Collid Spot Patches, retailing for seven British pounds or 750 US dollars. Um, oh crikey this is going to take me forever there are a lot of new things <laughs> there's a lot of new things um, I definitely will be checking these out I love Beauty Bay products so yeah so there's a skincare refresh rebranding um, yeah I, I'm not going to read all of that because uh, that was a lot so Next up is another Lunar New Year 2023 celebration collection. This one is from Pat McGrath. Um, I haven't tried anything from Pat McGrath. There are, is an eyeshadow quad, Voyeuristic Vixen, um, Matte Matt Trance Rouge, which I'm guessing is the lipstick, and Under Eye Blurring Powder. I'm super interested in this Under Eye Blurring Powder don't have any prices here or anything or if they're available hmm. available now it helps if you actually read everything stuff it is available now in europe okay um i love the look of the packaging i love the little design in the lipstick the eyeshadow quad it's not really my color aesthetic um i'm sure there will be something at some point that catches my eye eyeshadow wise but so far not so much but i am super interested in the under eye blurring powder let me know what you guys think and yeah are you a fan of pat mcgrath products let me know and then nars have a new orgasm collection they really need to jump off the orgasm bandwagon. But anyways, it's inspired by best-selling orgasm, all in a limited edition pink pa packaging. 
So there's the Orgasm 4 Play Blush Quad, which is blush, highlighter and contour. Orgasm Rising Eyeshadow Palette. The Multiple, which I'm guessing is the little stick thing. Hmm. Yeah. I love the look of the the blush quad. I really love the look of that. Um, but yes, I I have yet to try anything from any of their orgasm range. Um, so yes, maybe I will understand the hype once I've tried something. But at the moment, it just seems like they're running with the same name. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm interested. Next up is. I think a really exciting release from the Pastel Roses UK. I adore them. I have so many singles from them which are just spectacular in my opinion. So they have released their new winter themed collections. So there's the Frozen Dreams palette and oh, that's the one that catches my eye. And look at those finger swatches. Oh, beautiful. Um, and there is also the Gingerbread Bakery palette, um, which looks stunning. Not particularly my aesthetic, but it's just not colourful enough. But the Frozen Dreams palette, that catches my eye. Um, there are also new pressed glitters, yeah, available now. So yeah, I'm definitely intrigued by the Frozen Dreams palette. Let me know what you guys think. I love that they're bringing out palettes just not everybody likes to collect singles i do personally um but not everybody does and i think it's wonderful they're bringing out palettes and there's one for everyone if you like your neutrals there's the gingerbread bakery if you like your color there's the frozen dreams so yeah i think something for everyone um yeah let me know what you guys think and if you have or will be picking up one of those palettes and then moving on to there is another new foundation release and this is from makeup by mario it is their surreal skin liquid foundation there are 30 shades shirty shades there are 30 shades um retails for 42 us dollars um available now Breathable Luminous Foundation features moisture grip technology and hydrates skin and glides on easily for customizable coverage. Layer it on or share it out. Formulated with grapeseed oil and vegan squalene. Yes, again, another foundation. I'm, I'm enjoying my foundation journey at the moment. I'm loving trying new ones. Um, so yes. I wanted to give that a mention. Let me know what you think and if you are going to be or have picked that up. Another new drop is from Dior Beauty. It's their Forever Glow Veil and Forever Velvet Veil. They are new primers. Um, they retail for 50 US dollars each. So you've got the illuminating, the Forever Glow Veil is the illuminating primer. Um, formulated with floral skincare ingredients iris extract wild pansy extract and red hibiscus extract i'm having difficulty with my words um the forever velvet Va the forever velvet veil is a primer that visibly blurs pores and imperfections for an even smooth and enhanced complexion formulated with rosehip extract they're available now. Yeah, I like the look of them. A little on the expensive side for me, but I look out for sales. Mr. Fluff has a lot to say today, apparently. Um, so yeah, I wanted to give that a mention. So Creature Cosmetics are bringing back their My Bloody Valentine collab. Um, it will be restocking soon for the Valentine season. I love the look of this. <laughs> I love the outer packaging and I love that it's got like the picture of a real heart on there. And what does it say on there? Roses are red, violets are blue. I love the look of the colour story. I love that it goes super dark and super light. Yeah, I'm super intrigued by this. I do have one palette from Creature Cosmetics. So yeah, super intrigued. 
buy this the packaging is awesome absolutely awesome let me know what you think um and if you have this from its previous release what do you think of it i love the look of it um next up essence have revealed a trend edition collection it's hugs and teddies um to be arranged when launching in europe or usa it doesn't look like it's launched just yet but there is the iron face palette plumping effect lip gloss lip pencil duo brushes matte nail polish vanilla scented nail stickers scented nail stickers okay um and a scrunchie for hair um super affordable prices yeah the nail stickers i'm intrigued by Yeah, I think the nail varnish and the nail stickers I'd be most interested in. Um, in the UK, we do have um, the Wilco store that stores Essence, well, store and online store, and also Just My Look stocks Essence. Um, yeah, they're a super affordable, cute brand. I love them. And their mascara seems to be a firm favourite for so many people. Their Princess Lash Mascara. Yeah, I thought this is a really cute little collection. So I did want to give it a mention. Um, and then we have... So... Give... Is it Give Beauty? G-X-V-E. Is it Give Beauty? I don't know how you say that. Um... So it's Gwen Stefani's brand. Um, she has revealed her Can't Stop Staring Mascara, retailing for 20 US dollars. Um, coming soon. Uh, it's an ultra black mascara that lengthens, lifts, and separates. Yeah. See, mascaras are something I don't tend to get a lot of because once you've opened them, they, they have a limited life in them, I think. Um, and I, I know I still use them for way too long, way longer than I should, but I don't advise that. Um, but yeah, I do like the look of this. I do like the brushes um, with the little bit on the end that's easier to get your lower lashes with. But yeah, I just thought I'd give it a mention. I love the packaging. It caught my eye. And then moving on to, so Sephora have... A new collection or new items new collection and it's their destinations collection i don't know if these are going to be available in the uk or not because we do have sephora now so i, I would hope they would be um there are colorful gloss bomb feeling groovy colorful gloss bomb i'm guessing that's lip glosses i had color shifter mini palettes Destination eye palettes. Hmm. They look interesting. They do look interesting. Um, yeah. I don't know if we're going to get them in the UK. I should really have checked this before starting filming. Um, if I think to do it before I edit, then I will update. If it's not there, then I'm sorry. I've completely forgot. Um, but yeah. I think it's a cute collection. Intrigued. I haven't, haven't tried any sephora products as yet but they're on my list um oh my word more wet and wild releases <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot so there are lock and shine lip color and gloss for seven us dollars each um varying different ones there's eyeliners there's gel duos there's eye and lip makeup remover some of the items are available now yeah wet and wild is a brand that i really want to try more from and i do love the look of these um the lip duos they look beautiful i love the shade range yeah i'm super intrigued by well a lot of their products really um i did i will be trying more from them in this coming year so keep your eyes peeled Moving on, Catrice have revealed their Dear Universe collection. Um, it features a palette, four types of lashes and two types of press-on nails. Um, coming soon, it does say possibly February in USA. 
So I don't know if it'll be coming to Europe sooner. Who knows? The palette isn't isn't my kind of colour story. Having said that though, I have I have I am starting a new series, Steph Does Neutral, where I will be attempting to fall in love with neutral. It's gonna be a journey. Um but yeah. I digress. Um but yeah, so this is the eyeshadow palette. The press on nails look gorgeous. The lashes, I do love the look of some of the lashes. There's one pair. Um, in the picture you're seeing, it's the ones on the very right. I like the look of those. Next up is a brand that, until it appeared on my newsfeed, I hadn't heard of before, but I'm super intrigued. So this is Tood Beauty. And they have dropped their Hypnotic Colour Cream Multi-Chrome Shades. I'm guessing eye liquid eyeshadow. Um, they retail for 18 US dollars each. I love the look of these, in particular the two on the left, the green to pink, the purple to blue. They're all beautiful. The one on the right reminds me of a watermelon. I love the look of them all. And I'm super intrigued by this brand. So if this is a brand that you know anything about, if you tried anything from them, please let me know in the comments section below because I'd like to learn more. I'm intrigued and I'm clearly too lazy to do that for myself. So let me know. Um, and then moving on to Sugar Drizzle Polish. This brand I have been meaning to try for so long they're on my brands to try in 2023. I am in love with the look of this palette. So there's the Trashed palette, which retails for 44 US dollars. The artwork on it, the color selection, I am just, yeah. I love the look of it. I love the look of all of this actually looking at it. So there's a mini holographic palette for 45 US dollars, a dazzling chameleon palette for 30 US dollars, sugar rainbow single eyeshadow stroke highlighter for 18 US dollars and a trashed enamel pin for six US dollars. Um, available now, a couple of items on pre-order. Yeah, I, I love the look of the trashed palette. Mm, hopefully this is not limited edition because this could well be my first product from sugar drizzle polish we'll see but i love the look of it i'm super intrigued um and yes i've heard so many good things about the eyeshadow palettes like the eyeshadow formula from sugar drizzle polish yeah they are high on my to try list so this year, 2023, is going to be the year where I try them. Okay, so this next new release caught my eye. <laughs> the palette's called the Not Your Basic Batch Palette from Touch of Glam Beauty. A Not Your Basic Batch Palette for a Not Your Basic Steph. Makes sense, right? It's a sign. It's a sign. A sign from the makeup gods. Um, so there's nine multi-chrome shades in this palette. It will be priced at 160 US dollars. Um, there is a 15% code that can be used on top, which will make it 136 US dollars. And that makes each shade around 15 US dollars per shade. Oof. sadly this is way out of my price range way out of my price range i love the look of it though i literally i saved it because it was called not your basic batch palette um but again i love multi-chromes it looks absolutely stunning it's just way out of my price range but yes, beautiful palette, love the look of it, love the name. And so moving on to Odin's Eye. So Odin's Eye has started doing single eyeshadows, which makes me very, very happy. 
I love collecting singles. So the collection contains 42 single eyeshadows. The M series are multi-chrome eyeshadows. There are 12 colours. The S series are shimmer eyeshadows and there are 30 colours. And then it says product prices. The single shimmer eyeshadows are US$6.9. Single, mul single multi-chrome shadows are US$14.9. Single eyeshadow container is US$2.9. 12 colour storage container stroke palette US$6.9. Available on January the 5th, which is today as you're watching this. Um, 6 p.m. Swedish time, so I know that's 5 p.m. UK time. Um, yeah, I'm I'm super excited. This is a, a release I am super excited about. And I'm sure for all of you other single shadow lovers that you're excited to. I did forget to mention it's called the Jewel Shine Collection. I love Odin's Eyes formula. I have a few palettes from them. I love them. Yeah, super excited. The greens look, obviously the greens have caught my attention. They look so beautiful. So beautiful. And the blues, they all look beautiful. Yeah, I am so excited for this release. And definitely will be picking some up at some point because they're open side, they're single eyeshadows, they're in Europe, they're an indie brand, there's multi-chromes, I have like a million and one reasons which I don't actually need to give. I will be getting some of these at some point, they look gorgeous. Um, so moving on to um, Makeup by Lisa and as many of you will know this is a brand that I hold very dear to my heart Lisa is from the Isle of Wight, which is a little tiny island at the bottom of the UK and it's where I'm from, it's where Lisa's from and based, so yeah, it just makes it really exciting for me. Um, so new for 2023, she has the Cutie Glaze, it says seal your manis and pedis in our deliciously scented, strawberry scented cuticle glaze, it hydrates and nourishes cuticles and it's made with jojoba oil and vitamin E. This looks super cute. I don't do enough with my nails as you can probably see. I really do need to do more with them. I do have one of, oh, I'm sure I have it down here somewhere. I do have one of um, Makeup by Lisa's nail polishes. It is beautiful. Her nail polishes are stunning. Everything she does is stunning. I love it all. Um, there's plenty of videos on my channel if you want to see any of her products in action love them um but yes i do also have a discount code with makeup by lisa all of my discount codes you will find listed in my description box they're always at the bottom of the description box for every video i do the lives i forget to update the description boxes so yeah maybe check the videos but any discount codes i have are there i don't up until this point in time have any affiliate codes or links so I don't make anything from that from you using that you just save some money um, but yes if you're wanting to try something from Makeup by Lisa there's a discount code in the bottom of the description box below um, but yeah super excited to see what else she's going to be coming out with her nine pan palettes are my faves i absolutely adore them love them so, so much um and there's something for everybody amongst those also i digress so let's get back on track last up is a coming soon <laughs> and this is from madage beauty london this is a brand a uk indie brand that i love um, I am on their PR list. I'm so fortunate to have received some absolutely stunning products from them. Their foundation and concealer are amazing. Amazing. I love all their products, but yeah, their foundation and concealers, stunning. Stunning. Um, anyways, um, so they have a secret. There is newness coming soon. So 
as soon as I know more about this, I will update you guys. I'm super excited. I have no idea what it is. I wish, I wish James would tell me. If you're watching this, please tell me. What is it? So yes, I'm super excited to find out what is coming. What is coming? Yes. Um, so yeah, that is all I have to talk about today. I'm going to move me on back to the centre. I think I'm there. We're wobbling. But hey-ho. Right. Yeah, I think I'm back in the centre. Um, so yeah, that is everything I have to talk about today. Happy New Year to all of you beautiful chameleons out there. It's a new year. There's going to be a lot of newness coming to my channel. I'm going to be having a bit of a revamp. There's going to be some new series coming. Um, yeah, so there will be changes that you will see happening, um, etc. Like my channel banner, picture, um, all sorts. Um, so yes, if you see changes, it's okay. Nobody has uh, taken over my account. Not that they would want to because I am a miniature channel. But still, any changes coming be forewarned. Um, yeah, I'm super excited for this year. This year is going to be the year of the chameleons. I'm sure of it. So yes, if you are new around here, you like to see colourful makeup. Um, I I love indie brands. Indie brands are where my heart truly lies. So yes, if that all sounds interesting to you, then please do subscribe. Join my beautiful chameleon family. It's just the best place to be. The best. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Thank you.